All right, so I got a Mercurial Nike Vapor 8 unboxing. Um, just arrived today. It's the 30th. Um, got them from Soccer Pro. Great site. Recommend checking it out. Um, but anyway, let's get into it. Um, so it's not as fancy as a Superfly box. Um, if any of you guys know what a Superfly box looks like, but they are very fancy. First boot looks so amazing. Wow. I'm just so psyched to get these. Um, right now, first impressions is I can definitely tell they are much lighter than the Vapor 7s. Um, that might sound a little bit crazy because I think these are 6.5 and the Vapor 7s were 8 ounces. So, I mean, it's only an ounce and a half difference, but... Uh, I can definitely tell they're a little bit lighter. Um, sole plate looks cool. Um, and if you, any of you guys are wondering, I don't know if you can tell, um, but it's a little bit darker in the back heel area than up front, and that's because in the toe area there's only one layer of Tepex glass, and in the heel and the mid there's two layers of Tepex glass, which is pretty cool. Um... I myself am a little worried about the studs because on like the Superfly 2s, I think, the back studs would break off and these are only one, so it might be a little hard, but I mean, there's a little support thing right there and when I saw videos of these, I kind of thought they looked really skinny, but the heel studs are actually pretty wide, so... It, I think I think it'll be fine, um, but the boot looks great. Um, you have this. You can kind of see it. This right here. Um, it's a little more. It has a little bit more grip to it than the rest of the boot. Um, but I think that's just design, or maybe it's to help keep the um, the Tebex glass attached to the actual boot. I mean, got the designs on the back. It looks really great. Um, the feel is a little rough. Um, it's got kind of a... See, people always say it has that suede feel. Um, but when people would say that, I couldn't really get a full effect because, I, I mean, suede on the outside of a football boot just, sounds, just seems weird. Um, but it's kind of like, I'd probably say... I don't know. It's just a little... It's kind of like a cloth, almost. Like, I, I really can't explain. If you're watching this, then you'll probably consider getting the boots. So when you get them, you'll... If you get them, and you can come up with a better analogy than that, then please do. I'd love to hear it. Um, but let's check out the insole. Um, it is basically the same as a Superfly without the um, Sense Stud... Um, little foam areas right there, um, but it's just a pour-on insert, so there shouldn't be many problems there. It says Mercurial Vapor, um, inside of the shoe, looks fine. Um, uh, another thing is on the Superfly, it had a little pad right here. There is not any pad right there, I guess, to decrease weight. Um... They still have these uh, traction spikes, which is really good because I thought they might be getting rid of them. But when I found out they weren't, I was so happy because I actually really like the traction spikes on my Vapors and my Superflies. So that should be really great. Um, but yeah, and also it's got like a synthetic... Um, I wouldn't... I don't know what to call it. But it's got synthetic right in there. Um, so it shouldn't be much problem. I myself prefer suede right there. But it should be fine. Um, but yeah. Overall these boots are way classy. Um, I've been watching a lot of football matches lately. And these stand out on the pitch crazy. Um, and the 
um, video right now. They kind of look a little pinkish, but they're definitely not pink at all. They're as orange as the box that they're sitting on top of. Um, but yeah, the boot looks really great. I'm so pumped to try them out. And um, I, I'll try to make a review on them in a little, probably a couple of days once I have a chance to wear them and break them in. But uh, thanks for watching, and uh, have a great day. <laughs>